All right, so did you see the video on my channel and end up at the laser makers realm, or is this the first place you're stopping to check out this video? Well, once you check this one out, head over to my channel. The link will be in the description. I'll have a complete tutorial on how to make this graphic. And how to download the SVG file for the state outlines and many other graphics. Let's get into the website that is the hidden gem for all kinds of makers. Let's just take a quick look at some of their offerings and uh, give them a few clicks to help support the site and support their work. They do have ads on the site and you can also donate whenever you create a graphic if you feel like doing so. All right, we're here at suncatcherstudio.com, suncatcherstudio.com. They have put together tons of free tools that you can use to create graphics for your own projects. As you can see, stencil generator, monogram generator, all kinds of stuff. What we use in this video for the project is our state outline. So if I click West Virginia, you're gonna see that you can download the state outline, select no collar, and right here you can save the SVG format. So any state you want an outline for, you can grab it from there. They provide you with additional resources for all the states a circle logo, county map, a heart, put where your state, where your city is, where you live in your state. As you can see, I'm scrolling through here, all kinds of cool stuff. You can make your own signs with some of these graphics. They even have all these different SVG patterns that you can use to create tons of stuff. This is just a hidden gem for any maker out there and I'm really happy to share it with you. Now, I am providing you a free download. You will get this shape for your plaque and the link to the website is there. The size that I use is there. But if you want to learn how to create this yourself, you're going to have to head over to my channel for the tutorial. And then if you get stuck, you can always download the file from here and use that as a guide. I am going to roll in the footage from the video that's over on my channel that shares the settings for the CO2 and the settings for the fiber laser. So you guys are gonna get that here and hopefully that'll help you out. Because with the fiber laser, I ended up providing JDS leatherette starting settings so you can make your own patches. And then CO2, it's gonna be what I ran on my CO2. It won't be the same for you, but you can at least see what I run. All right, for my CO2, I'm running the NOAA Laser 60 watt today, and it has the hybrid stepper, so I'm running a fast speed, and I'm running speed of 800 for the engrave, 50% power, 0 0.08 line interval. For the line after the engrave, I will be running a speed of 50, power of 17, max power min of 10. And then for my cut settings, it's a speed of 10, power of 90. And I do have the power supply adjusted. So at a power of 90, its max output is 28 milliamps.
All right, here's our Illinois home plaque, fresh off of the CO2 laser. It looks good. Not too bad. This is walnut, so the color's a little different. I could have got that home darker, but I just wanted to run it fast and get it done. And then let's compare it with Tyler's original. Looks pretty good. So now all we have to do is take this graphic and frame it on the fiber laser, make sure we're lined up, and then adjust our settings. For the Rakus 50 watt, I'm gonna assign my gray, light brown, dark brown setting. And that is two sublayers. First one is a speed of 1500, power of 15, frequency of 80, line interval of 0 0.02. It runs two passes at a 45 degree, at negative 45 it starts. Uh, it auto rotates and then does a 100 degree turn and runs uh, second pass. This is set to flood fill. This initial layer, sub layer is a flood. The second layer is a speed of 1500, power 17, frequency 80, same line interval of 0 0.02, scan angle of 45. It runs at a cross hatch and runs one pass, the one cross hatch pass. It is not a flood fill but I do have it set to fill shapes individually. Found this is the best way to get a nice dark mark on this JDS leatherette. All right, we've burned a couple patches. Here's how they turned out. I think they look pretty good. So those are some starting settings for you to try. Every laser is different. The max peak pulse on my fiber laser might be different than yours. Beam quality might be different. Uh, power output could be different. Lens is different. So these are just starting places. Do not cop expect to copy them exactly and expect them to work exactly. But that will at least give you a place to start. We have our patches wood plaques, and then I have a bare wood plaque as well. And overall, I think uh, this is a great little project. Thanks Tyler for the inspiration and uh, allowing me to copy your design. So now that I've showed you the top secret website, so you can create your own designs, you can learn how to do the patches over on my channel. You can create these cool little home plaques. This is one that my friend Tyler had made. And this is what I made and showed you how to create over on my channel. And this is my original that I did with West Virginia. And that is all I have for today. This one's short and sweet. It's going to take a little bit of work on your end to achieve that final result, but you will learn a lot in the process. So head over to my channel, watch the tutorial, create your design. I gave you templates here and some basic settings to get you started. And I hope you enjoy this quick little video. It won't take too much of your time to make it to the end. But as always, I do have my own Patreon. Link will be in the description. That helps me buy this material to test on and make stuff for the videos. Um, please like and subscribe over on my channel. My video showing you how to create this. Of course, stay tuned to the Laser Makers Realm. We have a live stream coming up this Sunday, then another one April 30th. Every two weeks, we have a live stream on Sunday afternoon. So set the bell so you don't miss those. 
They're normally fun, interactive. We answer your questions. Sometimes we make some demo projects. And I know the next two Sundays, the three of us are going to be making demo projects. So you can follow along with that. But that's it. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day. This fucking water pump's killing me.